Hi everyone, today we will print the EZ Christmas trees. I saw these Christmas trees on Thingiverse by Sin Ja. I hope I pronounced that right, links down in the description. And I realized that there is a lot of people having troubles printing these trees with Cura as it is in Simplify 3D normally. So I decided to put my Cura experience in practice and let that design be printable with Cura. So first, let me explain how this brilliant design works. The model is two STL files. I will use just the main file. It is basically a cone surrounded by branches. We will not use support with these branches, so they would fall down while printing, forming that Christmas tree effect. In order that this branch fell down, they have to be heavy and soft. To achieve that, we increase the material flow. The more material flow, the more plastic pumping out the nozzle, the heaviest the branches will be. The highest nozzle temperature and the ambient temperature will be the softer the plastic will be. So to recap, the basic idea is increasing the material flow and increasing the temperature. Let's take a look on the printing profile. It is recommended by Sanja to print in 0.3 layer height without any infill. Well, I think that is a little bit extreme for me. So I print with 5% infill and 2 wall line contour to be sure that the layers would be well fused together. I slightly increase the printing temperature and the build plate temperature so I have softer plastic and increase the flow to 140% so the branches will be heavy enough to fall down. We will make sure that we will disable the retraction and also we will make sure that the travel speed is similar to printing speed. We will turn off the cooling fan and make the minimum speed 30 mm per second. Disable support, put a small brim and fire your printer up. While printing, if you didn't see the branches failing down as expected, just go and increase the temperature and the flow until you have the result that we are looking for. In the end, if you wasn't happy with the result, you can post-process your print with a hair dryer. While I was printing, I thought, we are looking for material that they can fail down. So why we don't print with flexible materials like Fila Flex or Ninja Flex? Well, I don't have any of these. I have this cheap PETG lying around, it has been a while. So I thought, let's give that a try. And I really love the end result. It's so fluffy and realistic. And I really like them. They are so good. I wanted to give the PLA another try. So I thought, if the ambient temperature is high, that would help to soften the plastic. I know I wasn't printing in the ideal condition as my printer sitting near an open window, and I'm a little bit late on my enclosure project, so I decided to put a beautiful green bag around my printer to reserve the heat. I made the bed temperature slightly high around 70 degree so it can heat the ambient and the nozzle temperature around 220 and the end result was great i didn't have to post process this one with my hair dryer personally i do prefer green christmas trees and i didn't have any green filament so i decided to apply some coloring spray on one of my white tree and the blue one and i really do like the end result they turn out great so here we are with these beautiful christmas trees printed with cura i really enjoy the end result more than i thought if you like this video please give it a thumb up if not please let me know in the comments how i can improve my videos that's it for today, thank you for watching.